Well, maybe it's good to clarify that we didn't hear the gospel for the fourth Sunday because a Sunday we did celebrate the, celeb the feast of the presentation on the Sunday. And so we didn't take the readings for the fourth Sunday, but these extra different readings. Ordinarily, usually it would have been an account of the Beatitudes. The Gospel text today follows directly on and presents us with two images of the ideal disciple of Christ, namely the sun of the earth and the light of the world. That's all we know. Everything we're going to take about this yeah, enhances the taste of food. All those who fight against blood pressure know that it's not easy to take food without a pinch of salt. In a similar way, he talks about the land as its proper place where it gives light to the whole house. In contrast, this with putting the land under under a tub where it will give no light to anyone. Two strong images. The disciple must be authentic and must to act so that all, everybody can see the disciple. And so while experiencing this person be drawn to Jesus. And this is witnessing enthusiasm and doing good works so that everyone experiences commitment to Christ, to the gospel. And I say consciously enthusiasm because uh, our faith or way of life as Christians is not a matter of doing a lot of things, but it's a matter of having experience and encounter. That's all. Uh, Benedict XVI used to say in our uh, Pope Francis uh, often also repeat this experience. Faith starts by an experience and not by an idea. So the person of faith doesn't do charitable works because the person will bring admiration others uh, or uh, uh, to allow to show up, no, to uh, the, the person of faith do good works because this is the way of continuing living in the light of God. The person of faith did have an experience that changed the, uh, the person's life in a positive way and this person would like to continue being under this light. One of the fundamental characteristics of a Christian is to be outward, outward looking, yeah? being concerned about the welfare of the whole, of everybody, and not being selfish or inward looking. The person of faith wants to live life with other, for other uh, people, and not be concerned with getting their own little way, thinking always about their own personal advantage. And so, soul is on its own totally useless, and only becomes useful when it is mixed with other things. What work can I use salt? I cannot make a, a dinner and supper with only the salt or with salt and water, yeah? But if I mix salt with many different things, I have the chance of having a very good meal. And so in this sense, we are the salt of the earth. We should be mixed in with the world around us. We have to be prepared to be thrown in, to mix up with the world. And so sun will become so absorbed into the stove 
that it will entirely disappear the salt itself. But its presence will make the difference, a huge difference. Uh, will make the meal tasty. In Christians who want to see themselves at the side of the earth don't have to rush out and join all kinds of organizations, get themselves elected in councils and committees. They don't have to set up prayer groups all over the town. They don't even have to run around doing social work and bestowing care upon every poor they encounter important love through this is they have to bring a bit of labor to the street in which they live in the places in which they work the places in which they play and if that is not mixed with anything else it is too bitter strong, beating too painful to the skin some is therefore unbearable on its own. Some Christians are a bit like that because not mixed, not mixed in. They don't have friends. They are not on good terms with their neighbors and with their non-Christian neighbors. And the same happens to the light. Yeah, on its own is light. That's what you do if you want to torture prisoners. You shine lights in their eyes, strong lights, because the light on its own hurts. Light only becomes useful when it makes us able to see things other than itself. When it when it illuminates dark corners, Jesus says that we must be the light. There are many Christians who add taste and bring light, thank God. They carry Christ's gospel to all those that they meet. They do so in quiet and subtle ways. They give example through their own lives. They have understood the power behind gentleness and patience. They know how to live their lives in a fulfilling way. They know how to love and how to care. And Christ is using these people, is using them to further his work of salvation in the world. And so today, I invite you, let us resolve to be like those true disciples who live for other people, for others, and who bring Christ, it means who bring a flavor and who bring light 